like there's a there's a young guy in our church. His name is Nate. He's one of our young pastors. And um, I had to go speak at the Youth of the Mission base it's about an hour north of us. And so I said, Nate, you want to go with me? So we have the hour up and the hour back. And Nate is one of those guys that he's ready to defend his faith. He knows his body, you know, that kind of thing. And so he wanted to get into a theological discussion. I said, let's do that. But I said, can I just tell you where I come from on this? And he said, sure. So I said, Nate, the way I was discipled, I always start first with the character and ways of God. Yeah. And so when you, when you start getting into issues like, you know, is salvation really available to everybody? I, I said, so you, you've got verses you can quote at me, but let me just start with this to show you what I mean. So when you take God's character, do you really think from what you know of God that he would ever have somebody starting from a place where they never had a chance? And he just kind of looks at me and goes, oh my God, you know, it was kind of the moment for him to realize like you got to start with God's character, who yeah. he is, yeah. nice. not just verses that you can defend. And, and for me, that's a lot of it. It's, it's shaping people around God's character. So they look more like him in their attitudes, in the way that they work, the way they lead, the way they love their family. But it's also then helping them in God's ways, like how God does stuff so that you're reflecting that. And then in the way that we use language a lot in Lion Share, the organization I lead is, discipling people around God's character, ways, and mission. Yeah. And so the mission is, you know, reaching the lost, discipling the found, you know, that kind of thing. So in your context, what does that look like to make disciples in your vocational world? Yeah. So, yeah. I'm, I'm just, I was just listening to a podcast, actually. It's similar. Now, I'm not sure if you said this or someone else. And even though calling myself a Christian now in America, in 2021 is just like what's that mean that's the group of haters isn't it so it's yeah. like oh my gosh it's so it's been so trashed because yeah. it's fully represented now i'm a follower of jesus well that sounds really good and that's biblical as well but even that someone said no 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 you follow it in the sense that we think a follower no you're not just a follower like a, we followers become a facebook follower yeah i read if i read the feed no 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 yeah you become yeah. to embody you're called to embody christ yeah and just that's yeah. what i'm hearing you say is like okay yeah embody christ live out his name his nature his word his ways let it become the yeah. fabric of your being in yeah. everything you do uh and some loving this so break it well, down and, for and me. And, oh, yeah. yeah and yeah. andy too i think it's a it's a like it doesn't mean you do your i love jesus t-shirt to work yeah you know? exactly. and 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 like and i can tell just in our conversation, you're, you're a really good relator to people, Andy. And this is one of the greatest fails is, is people haven't dis been discipled how to be a good relator. And, and, it, and it causes not only, of course, in your family, but in the workplace. It's like people are excellent at what they do, but they suck at relationships. Yep. And, and, and so like I, I, I often tell a story about a cardiologist friend of mine up in Ohio and uh, – he's like one of the smartest guys I know, which is a good thing if someone's opening your chest oh, yeah. and doing oh, yes. heart surgery. Right. Yeah. And so, <laughs> and so, but, but in the mid nineties, I met John and John, as we begin to grow in friendship, he said, Dave, I'm really good at what I do, but I run over people. Like I'm so task oriented that I just run over people. I can't hear what they're saying. But, but you could tell he loves people, but he was, yeah. he was almost like a little kid. I don't know what to do. Like, how do I, and so we, we started talking about that and journeyed together over some time. And now, like if you and I had a heart problem and, and we woke up this morning and John had done our heart surgery yesterday, he, instead of just going in, taking the file or the iPad and checking off that he checked on you, he'll pull up a stool, tell you what happened with the heart surgery, what he saw, but then he'll also check on your personal heart. How are you? How are you feeling after all this? And he'll have a conversation and he'll pray with them. Yeah. And that just discipling him in that area of being a good relator where he recognized he needed more of Jesus in that area has transformed his not only life, but his vocation. 